we've got a set of uh, sigma to this equations here and we're going to use um, matrices and what we know about matrices to solve this set of simultaneous equations. So I'm just going to get on with the method then sort of explain backwards why it works. Then. So we'll take a matrix of the coefficients. So uh, 4x, so we'll take the 4, 1y, so we take the 1, then we have the minus 1x here and the 3y. We multiply this by x and y and this is equal to 11 7 All right. and when we do the matrix multiplication this comes out true because multiplying on these matrix we go across this first row 4x plus 1y and that's equal to 11 and then we get minus x plus 3y and that will be equal to 7 so this is um, reasonable to go from here to here that's fine okay and now to find x and y well we want to get rid of this matrix here we can't divide by this matrix because we can't divide by matrices so what we're going to do is we're going to call that matrix A uh, 4 1 minus 1 3 and now we're going to find A inverse and A inverse is equal to well first we find the determinant so that's 4 times 3 12 minus minus 1 times 1 so that's um, plus 1 and then we divide by that so that's 1 over 13 then we want to swap these um, first two components around so we want 3, 4 and then we want 1 minus 1 Alright, now when we multiply, we're going to multiply this equation, both sides of this equation, by A inverse. Multiplying this left hand side by A inverse, and we're multiplying from the front. Okay, that's important. Um, that just gives us x, y on this side. And then because we multiply from the front on the left hand side, we have to multiply from the front on this side. So we get 1 over 13. 3 minus 1 1 4 by 11 7 ok now we're going to work through this this constant we're just going to leave for now 1 over 13 um, because this is a 2 by 2 matrix this is a 2 by 1 we're going to get a 2.1 as our answer and we do 3 times 11 that's 33 minus 7 26 and then we do 1 times 11 plus 4 times 7 so that's 11 plus 28 which is 39 and then this is equal to the 1 over 13, so we divide 26 and 39 by 13. That's equal to 2, 3. So if x, y is equal to 2, 3, then x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. And that's our solution. And you can check that and you plug these in and you do get those answers. So I hope this method makes sense. You can do this with a system of three equations, four equations, five equations, but when you've got five equations, you you don't really want to be finding the um, inverse of a matrix. So, uh, well, the inverse of a matrix in the way 
you've been taught how to do it before, so we might go through some other techniques that you can use to solve systems of linear equations using matrices in future videos. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If it was helpful, then uh, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.